Do you guys like farm fresh chicken that's raised here in the great state of Iowa? Well, check out today's sponsor, Angie's Happy Livestock. Go to the link down below, direct message me, and learn how you can get some of their freshly raised chicken right to your doorstep. Thanks again to Angie's Happy Livestock for sponsoring this video. You're watching JT the AI Guy, and today we're going to the Hawkeye Farm Progress Show. Let's go. For the good old JT Mobile and Drive. Oh, there we go. And let's roll. Well, guys, uh, just got in my college class. I'm going to head over. I got to go quick start, get some fuel real quick for the good old JT Mobile. And then we're going to head over to um, the Uni Dome for the Hot Guy Show. So here we go. Well, we're here at the Uni Dome now. Uh, I've got to go in. We're going to try to find Elijah and them are here today. So we're trying to find them. But uh, this is a smaller show of sorts. I mean, nothing small about it. It's filling up with that, and I believe that building over there, too. Um, but it is a smaller show compared to some other ones uh, that are around here. Well, like the big farm show in Boone, I guess, is the one I'm really thinking of. But um, it's a good show because you have a lot of local companies here. So it's actually kind of cool because now that I have my own five acres, I actually, to have this information of, okay, who are some fertilizer providers around here, or who does this, or who does that, or how can this help this out my operation? Uh, this information is actually not useful because I can implement it in some way, shape, or form. So, yeah. Got some equipment out front. Got a dump trailer. Uh, got a roller. And then got a drill. So you, you have it for both? Yeah. I have it for both. Nice. So you can take that. How much are they? $750. That's actually not too terrible. Be happy to sell you one today. Oh, yeah. What? Be happy to sell you one today. I'll think about it. My dad has a lot. Yeah, fertilizer. There you go. What do you think? Yeah? Should I buy it? So I'm currently here with JT the Egg Guy. What's up, guys? I'm here with Elijah Canfield Family Farmer. So are, are you enjoying the show today, JT? Oh, yeah. It's a great show. Great show. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, as always. Fun. Oh yeah, always. Uh, should, should, should we buy a tanker trailer? No. <laughs> uh, you know, I think we can get it as a um, as a tax write-off, yeah, most yeah. likely. Right down there's the Apache sprayer. Beware the salesman. He can be aggressive. He can be. Yeah, no, no aggressive. Look at this. Oh shoot, I am sorry, Aiden. I ain't watching where I'm going. Yep. Real nice unit. It's like Curse Buster. Uh, these guys have actually ran it one year. Like 2015, they were telling me. But they said this thing did an amazing job, created a great uh, soil bed for their seeds. Um, as you can see, uh, definitely different, but I've heard good things about it. It's expensive though, so you're probably not going to see it on the YouTube channel anytime soon. Got a nice old farm all here. You think they'll let me uh, take it home for free, Matthew? Yeah. No. Oh, dang it. Is this the Got a nice old, oh, you can get in there, I don't care. Nice old Case IH Farmall. They got like some, oh, they got a special sticker on there for 100 years. Very, very nice. Yeah. It's a tiny tractor. That's pretty cool. Elijah, how do you like your new tractor? Uh, it's great. Great, it's a good. Great on a tractor. I, yep. I didn't buy it, but yeah, it's a great one. Oh, you didn't buy it? No. Okay, this interview's I don't over. Have the money jump up. <laughs> Right here. You said, oh, who's this guy right here? Yo, what's up, my dudes? It's JT the Ag Guy. It is JT I'm the Ag Guy. I'm a Case IH, which... Are you a Case Guy? Yeah, I'm more of an IH guy. I'm not really Case yeah. IH. I'm more of an IH guy, too, but I, I'm, I, I, I'll, I'll, I like anything, including that blue New Holland over there. Yeah, yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Right here, we have a mini front and loader. Look at that. It's like a... Ow. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at this. Here. Yeah. Need one of these? Yes. Watch but out. No. Here. Get in there. I feel like I'm in the kid ride right now. You know what I mean? Like I feel, I don't know. Like it's safe but not safe all at the same time. I don't know. It does. Got a nice handle right here. What's up? Oh. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. It's case not gonna work. Uh, the deer was the same thing because there's no key in it. I know. Looks nice. I like the telescoping boom, that's 
this is a very nice little excavator I'm in. It's a New Holland, and yeah, it's cool. I'm not gonna buy it because I don't need one, and they're kind of expensive. Let's move on. We got a Coyote tractor here. Looks a lot like a uh, oh Kubota. There we go. Words. I'm finding them. Oh. Here's another excavator for you fellows. Very nice, very spacious, very cool. I think it's a little bit bigger than that new Hong Hall one. There's your engine. Oh my God, servicing this would be absolutely horrible. I would hate servicing this thing, man. Like a little mini skid here. What are these things called? Put that down in the comments. What are these things called? It's like the skid loader you stand on. Pretty cool. What do you think of the mini skid loader, Elijah? Uh, I think it's great. You want one? Uh, yeah, absolutely. This actually, no, for chores, seriously, this would be actually really nice. We gotta clean out our barn for animals. Uh, yeah, I do want to use it. Can I get it for free? Uh, you can probably drive it out. Okay, where's the keys? Where's the keys? Uh, keys are not in it. Yeah, oh. Dude, this would be perfect for what you need it to do. Honestly, yeah, you're right. This would be actually perfect. The only unfortunate thing is I can't afford it, probably. Most likely. Yeah. Unless it's got some rust on it, it ain't getting in you know, on I the farm. I can't afford it either, so. Yeah. We're all on the same show. Fishing out the same hole. Uh, I forgot the rest of that song. Yeah. Yes. It's a little mini sprayer for like an ATV. I probably will come back here and talk to him about it. Yep. So this is essentially uh, it's a seed destroyer. So any seed that comes out of the back of your combine, it gets hit by one of these rotating things. It's supposed to crack and keep it from germinating. It's basically it's supposed to keep you from getting volunteer corn or volunteer so it means or volunteer anything. So, um, yeah, I don't think it will fit. Well, maybe it will. Maybe it will fit on the back of the 4400. Oh, it will fit. It's just going to tip the whole entire combine in the process. Yep. In case you guys are wondering what we're exactly playing, it's from these two movies I'm about to flash on screen. I think there was a third one, too. It's in the John Deere Country series. Essentially, these movies were about building machines at the John Deere plants for farms. Uh, they were uh, all by the gentleman by the name of James Coffey. If you watch any of the uh, TM John Deere movies in the early 2000s, I'm not going to put every single one on the screen, but basically all about John Deere, John Deere Heaven... Uh, John Deere Action, all those different uh, movies, those songs came from this gentleman on the screen right now, uh, James Coffey. I am going to tag him, and, and James, if you see this, you made my childhood, Elijah's childhood, any kid that grew up in the early 2000s around farming knows you and your songs from those movies. So, thanks again, James. Just wanted to kind of give him a shout out and kind of let you guys know exactly what we're playing, because you probably... If you never grew up around those movies, you never heard that song before, you're probably a little confused. But um, now you know, and uh, James, thanks again. And uh, yeah, also, real quick, thank you to Angie's Happy Livestock for sponsoring this video. And thank you to those of you who sponsored and helped uh, Jake get to his goal. He's going to be able to go to the Washington Leadership Conference now between those of you who donated and, though, and him being able to sell a goat. So thanks again, guys. Really appreciate it. God bless you all. Have a great, great night.